Okay, our first running kata seigan has been developed from uh, Musushin and Ryo kata. Three steps. One, two, three. She goes back in Hasso Kamae. I do Seigan no Kamae. Frighten her head. She throws my sword away and kills me. That's the kata. The starting point for me is uh, Seigan no Kamae. This is Chudan no Kamae. This is Seigan no Kamae. The feet are different from Chudan to Seigan. And uh, we have a bit of tension here. We have more zanshin. Yeah? The zanshin is stronger when I uh, do this position. And uh, when I threaten her, I threaten her eyes. I don't go to her like this. This is possible as well. But it's a bit more... Uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable, thank you. To have a sword in the direction of the eyes. The same thing is what she does when she goes forward, she doesn't cut. She just threatens me. She shows me with a slow movement, a zanchi movement. Hey, here I am, don't come nearer. But I'm so dumb, I go nearer. Huh? This point of the, the sword, the tip of the sword, is between her eyes and my eyes. So when I threaten her, we have now two swords, sword tips, two kisakis between our eyes. And she goes back to Hasso Kamae. Hasso Kamae is too fast. I can't stab her, it's not possible. I can't kill her. So the Japanese have the uh, terms Ura and Omote. Omote is, I want to stab her, I want to kill her, but I know it's not possible because she will not uh, allow it. So, what I want, she goes out of this position. So, what she does is, she throws my sword away. That's the first, with the back of the sword. And in the same mo moment, she goes with her left foot, the forward, the front foot, she goes to the right side. So, go back. This is my direction of cutting. No, <laughs> you go out. Uh, throw, um, no, sorry. <laughs> go out like now. She goes out of my position, my direction. So, when I want to cut now, that's my intention. She's not there. She has left. She went there. And now she takes her right foot, goes further beside me, and I have to turn. You know, that's the uh, worst position for me. I wanted to cut her there, and now she's there. So I have to turn, and she goes into Ukunagashi, and defends herself, and kills me. Because in this position I can't catch her. Huh? So, my intention is to get her out of the Hasso Kamai. She throws away my sword, goes out of my direction, I have to turn, she goes into the cooking direction, and it's finished for me. What she does now is uh, Chikuri and Noto, but in Roni, just the form is uh, fixed and uh, Chibari and Noto you can do it as you want because every day your form is different, you feel different, uh, you can do it uh, like uh, a berserk, <laughs> I don't know if that word is existing, <clears throat> or you do it uh, like that, uh, it's up to you, it depends on your inner feeling. Uh, just when the other one goes down, you have Zanchi, of course. Uh, you protect yourself, you do Chibori, and then you do Chinokui. You clean the sword with the cloth, because with Chibori, the 
But the tibri, the sword will not be clean. The blood still is on the sword. So you can't put your sword back as in uh, the films you see, samurai films. As long as there's blood on the sword, you can't put it back because it will stick inside after it has dried. So first, the samurai will of course clean the sword, normally with cloth and water. And so we have the chinui, the cloth cleaning as well. Yes, that's our part. We have still a little bit. We have uh, two situations. You have to learn both sides, of course. Three steps forward. One, two, three. And she goes back. I threaten her. And she goes to the side, throws my sword away, goes to the side, I turn, and she kills me. And I go down. Okay, that's our first kata, and if you have any questions, you can contact us by email or Facebook or otherwise. Thank you.